about this one too. Yeah, I think uh, with, with Reese, you know, he and Tori are, are very different. Uh, I think a lot of similarities are going to try to be put on them because they're both from Australia, right? They're both from Melbourne. They both came from the same uh, from the same coach. Uh, they're very different, and uh, I think what we've seen so far with with him is he's a very talented young man, uh, but he's also young and green. And uh, you, you think about the differences. Tori came in at 22 years old, right? And a lot of us graduated college at 22 years old. He was beginning college. If you can imagine putting yourself back in those shoes at 22, you're much more mature at that age than you are at 18 or 19 when you enter college. And Reese is entering college at 19. Uh, so some of those immaturity things uh, from in comparison uh, show up, uh, but I think Reese is gonna be fine. He's incredibly talented. He's got a very bright future. Scott Dockman with the Athletic. In so many ways, strategically, Tory was even more than a weapon. He was, he was part of the game plan, it seemed like, for the entire team, not just the special teams. In what ways, it, you can't, it doesn't seem right that you would apply that type of pressure to a punter to do the same things Tory did, but, but it also it's part of the, the overall uh, team plan. How would you be able to entrust a punter like Reese to do some of the same things? Or, you know, you know it's not Reese. And in what ways could that punter I guess some of the, the angled punting and that sort of thing, how do they fit into the, in the scheme right now? Yeah, I think both, both uh, Ty Nissen and Reese Dakin, both of those guys have capabilities to do the shot, the shots that Torrey did. Okay, now the difference is gonna be Torrey's done it a lot longer. Um, he's a little bit more skilled, a little bit more adept at it at this current moment. Uh, but I think it's all out there. It's all, they're all capable of doing it. So as we get as we get going, get a better feel for their their shots, their the shots that they prefer. Uh, I think we'll we'll put a good game plan together. It's a, a, kind of likened it to golf, right? So the Masters was just last weekend. You're watching some guys are playing a, a 50 degree wedge, some are playing a 52, some are 48. You know those those things are different. It's all comes down to the the punter or the golfer, if you will, uh, and what their best stroke is. When you talk about the angle punting or, or pinning people inside the 10. So whatever whatever their best shot is that we that we figure out over you know, 15 practices and then through the summer, that's how we'll build our game plan uh, moving forward.